ITC's first innovation bootcamp was an internal training that took place over eight weeks with six workshops where we all learned about innovation and human-centered design and also culminated with the pitch presentation where the Gambia Quality Platform won the People's Choice Award. So let's check out what they presented. Good morning, Margareta. Good morning, George. Say, I've got a question for you. All right. What is quality? You know, when I think of quality, I think of things that are good, that we would like to have. Hmm. Sounds like quality can be a bit abstract. Let me narrow it down slightly. What makes a quality peanut? You know, interesting you would ask me that. I bought these peanuts yesterday, and they're actually examples of not good quality, but really bad quality. You know, they're not tasty, they're not crunchy, they're not really salty enough, they don't smell fresh, and some of them even taste a bit funny, like moldy or something. I'm not going to buy them again. Oh wow, there's so much that can go wrong. Which reminds me of a woman I met in the Gambia recently. Her name is Aisha Tu, and she was selling peanuts just near my hotel. I, I started chatting to her one day, and she was telling me that she had been selling peanuts in the exact same spot for years. Everyone in the neighborhood loves her peanuts. You know, if you ask them, she is definitely selling quality peanuts. Encouraged by this, she thought she could sell her peanuts to more people. She thought maybe to France. She had this idea that people would be sitting under the Eiffel Tower eating her peanuts, and she thought that would be cool. So she started reaching out to buyers in France and tried to sell them her peanuts, but somehow they weren't catching on. And she started asking them why, what the problem was, and they said they were problems related to quality. Now, she was confused, but I guess she didn't realize that she had to think of all these things like food additives, inspection, Integrated lavatory analysis, certificates of analysis, contact materials, batch analysis, numbers, critical control and agricultural practices, practices microbiological contaminants, extraneous matter. So Aisha too was left confused and she gave up on her dream. Now, let's imagine something different. Let's imagine a world in which Aisha too has a place that she can go to find solutions to all of her quality related problems. I'm speaking, of course, of a world with the Gambia platform for quality, the world in which we ought to be living. Now imagine if Aisha too could become inspired by reading success stories of other young, motivated entrepreneurs like herself. Perhaps she'd read the story of the Touré brothers, who saw their cashew prices and exports boom after making significant quality improvements. Now she could learn from these past successes and even reach out to those who have perhaps overcome some of the things that she is currently facing. With the GPQ, Aisha too could connect with those who would help her most on her quality journey. For example, the Gambia Quality Advocates, a group of young, dedicated trainers seeking to promote a quality culture across the Gambia. Maybe they would tell her about Beatrice, a local food safety expert, who would advise her on the pitfalls of not having good agricultural practices and then offer her training in this area. Then, down the road after making some improvements, Aisha too could reach out to the Gambia Standards Bureau, who would offer her certification services against the standard that she feels would make her peanuts more competitive. Now that Aisha too wants to export to France, she, or those helping her, can use this platform to find out exactly what is required for the French market. She can learn about food safety and know exactly step by step, step what she needs to do to avoid the problems that she was having earlier. She can learn about packaging and labeling requirements. She can learn about what types of peanuts French people actually like. And she can even find out that chili garlic nuts is part of the latest trend in France, perhaps something that she would want to consider. This platform, by the way, is Integrated will be linked and integrated with existing ITC tools such as market, market access map and the sustainability map. On the content and expertise side, it will benefit from a recent agreement partnership with three institutions the American Society for Quality, the International Academy for Quality, and the European Organization for Quality. Now that ITC has access to all this new information, she can see how well she's doing on different aspects of quality. And in platform self-assessment tool, she can also find out when she is ready to export to France. 
This way, Aisha Drew becomes a successful exporter and she becomes one of our success stories. We've seen how we moved here from complexity, despair and giving up to finding a way forward, finding solutions and moving ahead. But this story is not just about Aisha Drew. There are many like her out there in the Gambia. Here we have a recent photo from a workshop in the Gambia where we trained the first group of young entrepreneurs, future trainers in quality management. The Gambia platform for quality will help these people help others better and it will help to create a quality culture across the country. Gambia platform for quality, let's, let's make, make it, it happen, happen together. together. How did you like our pitch? For us, this was really a fantastic experience. We invited people who didn't have any contact with the subject to come and actually look at what we're doing. We were testing to see if they could understand it. They would ask us questions. And that actually opened up a lot of new things that we hadn't even thought about. You know, it's also about teamwork. We had a really great team working together. And by working together, each of us saw different things. While teamwork is super important, in the end, it's all about the customer. So we actually went and spoke to people in the Gambia who might be using this platform and asked them what issues they might be having and we tried to design this into the platform to have a platform that will serve them best. So those were all excellent tips, but let's not forget that when it comes to presenting, 90% of the focus should be on the how, while 10% should be on the what. So to all of you out there on your future innovative projects, good, good luck. luck.